Sagittarius, you have an important new beginning this month in a fifth house matter. And that could be anything from romance, your love life, pleasure, what brings you joy to your children, or even a creative project. But the fifth house is very much the major focus for you because not only are we experiencing an eclipse here, but there is an, so much other energy. There's Mercury retrograde here. You'll have Venus here. By the end of the month, you'll have Mars here. So much happening. So let's backtrack and begin with April 1st to the 25th. This is when Mercury is retrograde in your fifth house. So it's a communication course correction connected to your relationship with, a children, with children or one child, relationship with a lover or love interest, or your mental thought patterns or ideas connected to children, parenting, or your love life and dating. This could also be you rethinking a creative project and how to go about accomplishing it. Rethinking what brings your heart joy, what makes you smile, what sparks you, and making this decision to go after something that really does bring your heart joy. And you're going to do this at the solar eclipse. Because on April 8th, there is this amazing solar eclipse happening at 19 degrees of Aries that falls in your fifth house. And this is a north node eclipse, which means that it's going to make things bigger. It's going to give you something. North node wants to give. South node wants to take or remove. This is a, not only a solar eclipse, which says new beginnings, but it is a north node solar eclipse, which is it gives. It's a favorable, faded type of energy. So... You may be given a child or a grandchild if you are at the age where you could become a grandparent. It could be connected to the blessing of a child coming into your life. This could also be a new lover, love interest, a big deal love interest if, if I'm talking to you. This is not just, oh, someone you're going to date for two weeks and be done. No, this is a big deal because this is an eclipse. So this is going to change your life. And it could also be a major creative endeavor. But something significant to you, if that is where this is falling for you. Now, if you have children already, this could be a new beginning for one of your children. This could be a new beginning for your relationship with one of your children. And, and I do think that it's positive. It's just very much self-directed. You know, it's kind of like if you have children, you have one relationship with your children when they're kids babies, right? Little kids. And then you have another relationship with them when they're teenagers. And then you have a totally different relationship with them when they're adults. So if this eclipse involves your relationship with your children, it is connected to this rite of passage of changing the stage of the type of relationship you have with your child. And you're going into a stage that supports their autonomy, that supports their independence, that supports them figuring out who they really are, because this is Aries energy. So that's how I'm seeing it for you with, uh, with children. So it's like a new beginning, a whole brand new day connected to your relationship with your child, but it's more on their terms now. Again, apply that to the age. It has to be age appropriate. You're not going to let a three-year-old tell you what to do, okay? It's, it's obviously age appropriate. So this solar eclipse, as far as love goes, wow, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks if it is about love, because this person is going to be fiery, passionate, direct, bold, courageous, and is going to be interested in you for you. And that's going to really get you going. It's um, super excited exciting for love because Venus also enters this part of your chart on the 3rd of April and then Mars enters this part of your chart by the 30th. So super positive energy if this is about love, romance. With Mercury retrograde, there may be communication from an ex or you rethinking a decision about love and it might be connected to somebody from your past, but I have to say I don't think you're getting back together with an ex. There's too much about this eclipse that says new, new, new that the North Node, the new moon energy of the solar eclipse, it being in Aries, this is new. This is not likely to be you getting back with an ex, but there may be some communication from an ex. There may be some closure. There may be you letting go of something or uh, what you're changing is your, your thought patterns of, about love. Any of that is possible. Now, there is an amazing 
Jupiter Uranus conjunction that we have to talk about because you are Sagittarius, so you're ruled by Jupiter. And, and maybe this does affect you more. Now, again, it comes down to math. I don't know if you have anything in your chart that is near 21 and a half degrees of Taurus or a fixed sign. But if you have a planet or point that is actually in Taurus, you're more likely to feel the effects of this, this in a positive way. So it will fall in your sixth house. So it's going to feel like a sudden opportunity, maybe for a job, maybe a sudden opportunity to go in a new direction for your health, to improve your well-being. So it could be noteworthy for you. But just because you're ruled by Jupiter doesn't mean you get any special attention connected to this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction necessarily. You have to also have the math in your chart connected to it. So I don't want to overemphasize this for you too much. I just want to call your attention to your sixth house, see if you have anything around 21 degrees of Taurus or even in another earth sign, because then this conjunction will make a trine to the planets in Virgo or Capricorn that you have. And that can bring you an amazing blessing that's either financial or professional. So if you are a Sagittarius with planets in Virgo or Capricorn, then, oh my God, lucky you, you are going to really benefit from this. Or again, in Taurus. So that's pretty much what I have for you, Sagittarius. There is, a, you know, that's the main energy. I would love to hear in the comments if this is coming out for you, especially this eclipse, as a brand new exhilarating romantic experience. If it is about your relationship with a child, if it's about you having a child, maybe you're going to find out that you're pregnant for the first time or, or your partner's expecting a baby. It's, um, you know, for some of you, it is going to be about pleasure. What brings your heart joy? What makes you smile? Going after what makes you happy. And, and you can't underestimate that because life is meant to be experienced and to be embraced with all of the joyful moments, not just the difficult times. And this eclipse does look positive for you. It is, it is in a fellow fire sign. There's really not much negativity that I can see for you with this eclipse, if any at all. So let me know how it works out for you. And I am here for you next month. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.